Welcome back. Uh, we are here with Chad and Kevin from uh, CarCoin, and today they're going to talk a little bit about um, some of the benefits to uh, the customers and also the investors, um, and really how the whole project works. So, Kevin, can you give us started on on really the benefits to CarCoin uh, token purchasers? Sure. I mean, uh, initially, first of all, we're very excited about doing business with X Markets and, and launching our our token on their platform. Um, we believe that there's several values to the investor. The initial one, um, in the early rounds, obviously there's a discount on the purchase of the token. Um, we already have a working product, which we think investors really grasp in this environment. Um, okay. We have built our, our platform out over the last six months. We have 60 dealers currently on the platform. Um, few thousand cars and we're looking to be at a million cars within the next two years. Wow. So okay. a lot of people look at particular investments in the crypto space, as you know, and there are a lot of great ideas, but a lot of them are still down the, down the road on their roadmap. And it was important for us to bring a working product to the investors that really cross between crypto and real world assets. We think car buying is the natural fit. Um, it's such a high price ticket item that it makes sense in the transfer fees, right? Sure. It's just a natural fit as opposed to buying a stick of gum. So an investor can wrap their head around one, what we do, right? They've purchased a car before. Right. They understand that dealers advertise those cars to be purchased by consumers. And they understand there's a $50 billion retail advertising market just in the United States for that. So being first and starting out, we, we think we can capture a large share of that market, especially when it comes to the crypto space. And so, you know, for those reasons, we think the value of CarCoin, the fact that you can stake it for 40% APY, um, we think there's several reasons, but long-term, we really think we can capture a huge part of um, that $50 billion market. Well, one thing, that, if, if I, I think just from an analyst perspective, I think it's, you know, to the investor, um, having something with positive cash flows and a working functional uh, entity is, is advantageous because as you were saying earlier, so many of these projects are, you know, theoretical in most cases um, that for an investor looking to come in over the next couple of quarters and take advantage of the, um, the sort of the crypto bull run that will continue probably into Q3, Q4 of, of this year, um, you know, it makes sense to have a project that's already, you know, it's got nuts and bolts, it's got cash flows, it's got, you know, uh, actual, uh, it's, it's actually functioning. So I think that's one of the reasons that attracted this project to, to X markets. And I think, um, you know, there's a, a tremendous number of uh, benefits to um, the investors, but can you talk a little bit more about how the customer interacts with CarCoin and how that process works and, and the advantages to the customer? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so when we're talking about the customer and how we're interacting with CarCoin, first and foremost, it can be a transaction vehicle across the platform, a tradable, at, right, a tradable asset to the dealer in return for services, i.e., right, purchase of a car, down payment of, of a car service bill, right, um, you know, getting an oil chain, right? If they're set up with us, they can accept it and interact in that way. Um, additionally, from, a, from an interaction standpoint, right, we're talking, um, Kevin mentioned the staking, right, that's open and their ability to share in this ecosystem uh, and, gra and grab more share of. And what's important there is, uh, Kevin mentioned that $50 million, billion dollar a year industry, right, in, in the U.S., it just earmarked, right, this is advertising dollars towards the automotive industry. Uh, to be ha to have access to that ecosystem, right, and that slice of pie, we believe that right, our, mar um, our market potential within this is pretty heavily. Uh, we stayed one and a half to two percent market share, right? That's our that's our goal, three to five years, right? Uh, in that one and a half to two percent market share valuation. So the consumer is sharing in all this, right? But again, they're interacting with all of these dealers across the platform that we develop these relationships right. with. Which is why it was important for us, as you, as you had mentioned, that we establish the framework of the business, have a working model, working business and relationships prior to coming to market with anything, yeah. right, uh, with, with the token. Um, main reason 
we wanted to test the validity right of what we were doing the temperature of our of our dealer customer right our dealer partners on that side and have something that was already working creating revenue and not a fictitious right type of program like some of us have been caught up yeah, I mean, you want to. It's it's great that people have actually participated, bought cars on the platform. There's relationships with dealers. Can you walk me through, like, okay, let's say I'm a customer in, let's say, Paducah, Ohio, or somewhere in the middle of the Midwest, or somewhere which, let's say, doesn't have a lot of access to um, car dealerships and, and and options. How how do how do I interact with the platform, and how do I benefit from it? Let's say I have some crypto. I want to buy a car. Let's say in the next six to twelve months. What does that look like for me as a customer? I think I think the first thing, if you said six to twelve months, so you first of all you're putting a time frame. Somebody's an educated buyer; they're looking to buy a car for their family in the next six months or budget, right? right? So if you buy a car coin, you're looking at forty percent APY, okay. right? So you're thinking I can cut down the overall purchase cost by staking car coin, and then by going to a particular dealer that accepts car coin, there's additional benefits on top of it. So I think if you're looking at it from strictly a budget standpoint. You're saying, hey, I can increase my buying power, right? So either get a car that is maybe nicer than the one I originally thought or be able to completely pay cash for a car that's in that range that you got more out of that. So I think that's the key for the initial thing for the customer. Um, with the partners that we're adding over the next two or three months, you mentioned Paducah, Kentucky, or somewhere maybe in the Midwest of Ohio. Uh, it could be anywhere, East Coast, West Coast, as we expand this market, our desire, which is why we're going after the dealer, the infrastructure, is because we need those dealers being, you know, able to set up to take CarCoin in Paducah, Kentucky, as well as New York City or Houston, Texas or Miami. So that's really what our focus is with digital dealer, with NADA, with going to all these dealers and everything that's coming up is to build that infrastructure so the customer has an ease of use. Not only is it a benefit financially, but, you know, it has to be something that they can cash out and see a valid benefit. And we think as we expand our infrastructure of dealers, um, you know, we have a really good shot of, of providing full coverage to the whole country or anybody that wants to participate in CarCoin. Right now, we talked about the, uh, the front end for the investor and how it relates to dealers. It's important to know that our dealers sign up with us. We don't scrape their inventory and then list it here we have a valid agreement to list their products, not like some, you know, some sites that are built on aggregators. And for that, we have a revenue already estimated revenue for this year within four months of uh, over a half a million dollars. We expect that to be four to five million as we continue sales. And is that a, um, is that a sub subscription model where they sign up to be on the platform to pay a fee? Okay. And then is there a trend? Like, do you get a commission on the uh, car that's being sold via the platform mm -hmm. or is no, we don't get, we don't take anything from the actual purchase. So the listing itself for the dealer is free, right? They just have to hold car coin. They have to hold their car coin, put it in a, in a right, in a locked wallet and they have free listings. There's upgraded premium services that will run campaigns, ad banners, right? Impressions for them um, that they will end on a subscription level, right? Contract with us to deploy those types of, of mechanisms. Now with the, with the staking, let's say that I'm a dealership and I, uh, I pay your your basic subscription fee and I stake that coin. Doesn't that effectively, after the if it's there long enough, doesn't that forty percent really eat away at any fees that I would have? So it's almost a net net to the dealer to, to list because with the take staking and whatnot, if they are going to be doing transactions, that forty percent is going to dwarf whatever fees are going to be required. So to be so to be clear, the dealer staking isn't returning them forty percent. That's the the, the hold of the customer, right? The dealer is staking it different. They're they're basically they're earmarking a thousand car coin, right, to have access to all the network, right, and all the advertising. As okay. long as they're holding that in their wallet, we will perpetually take their feed, right, based off our contract with them. Okay. and deploy it right across um, all, you know, all of our channels. So it's, it's maintaining that one, that 1,000 or whatever that year mark. Correct. Now, if they wanted to upgrade their services, absolutely. They could trade, right? They're going to, they could trade car coin in for it. Um, why would they do that? Well, if a customer is trading them car coin, right? Uh, it, and they're sitting there, they have more additional car coin in the wild. They're going to trade that back into us for premium services. But again, though, any car coin that gets traded back to us, 
we are then taking and returning to the, to the rewards ecosystem, right? And that's what's going to keep everything moving along. Okay. The dealer also has an advantage to of locking in his advertising price. Um, right. Not just to stake the thousand car coins, but what we found out in our dealer partners, they're they're making a commitment of more to twenty to thirty thousand car coins. Okay. Just they can trade that for advertising, and they know advertising cost of the fifty billion. It'll be fifty five billion two years after that. I mean, it continues to go up, right? Because the more people that compete in the market on Google and Facebook and everything for impressions and ads, those that com the competition creates a higher price per click. So by the dealer staking larger amounts of car coin, he has an advantage to control his advertising costs in the future too. Understood. Okay. Well, listen, I think that pretty much um, wraps it up for today. I think that was um, really helpful for uh, our audience and our community to better understand things from various perspectives, whether it's the investor, the dealer, or the customer's perspective. Um, and so thank you guys again for, um, you know, shedding some light. And uh, again, if you have any um, final thoughts or uh, closing arguments, please make them now. Um, anything that you want to say before um, we sign off? And just remember, we're not, uh, we're not trying to change the world. We're just trying to change how you buy your next car. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks again. Take care. Have a nice day. All right. Take care, Michael. Take Thank care. you.